What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel. I apologize for the lack of videos recently but I've been getting the PC all set up and the PC is now set up recording everything I need to so we are back on Torch Drift on the mobile platform here with the new PC recording so the uh, quality is going to be a little bit better. So we're here today to talk about the hot hatch of the Focus RS. I do have a Pro 1 built but we're going to jump right into some tandems before this uh, yard reverse disappears. And then I will get into the settings and everything like that. We also have a donut and skyline and the slab. So we want to hit up the yard if we can. I believe I'm over 700 horsepower. Yeah, we are. So Focus RS, 795 horsepower, pro level, on some custom tires. So we'll get into the full build. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box below. Let's get sideways and have a little fun with it and see what we can do. So the first person up is in that Toyo Tires 180SX. So yard reversed, full track. Let's send it and see what we can do. We're going to get this thing up in the fourth gear. So I've definitely been enjoying this hot hatch and uh, enjoying the build on it. Like I said, we'll get into the full build spec here after this run. I wanted to hit up this track before it disappeared. There we go, getting all those clips. Staying nice and sideways, kind of just holding power in fourth gear. A little bit of handbrake there. Probably should have uh, left foot braked it, but we're going to be able to throw it up against that wall. There we go. Nice quick transitions, a little bit off throttle to uh, transition, a little handbrake flick. There we go. So I hope you guys are in enjoying the new Torque Drift content at higher frame rate and everything content with the new computer is definitely going to be a lot better than before so hope you guys do appreciate it and well we missed all those clips and we missed that clip that was a really hard transition so we missed a lot of the later clips but we still had a very decent run not the best run in the world I don't know why the car is slipping right now but it was slipping 174 to 126 so we did best our lead so we're going to get a chance to chase it down this 180 here in our Focus RS. Then we're going to take a look at the actual tune. I should not have tapped handbrake. We'll take a look at the actual tune of the car. Where are you going, buddy? We'll take a look at the actual tune and all the parts and everything that I got into this build and give you guys basically the build breakdown of the Focus RS. The hot hatch is real with this car. I do enjoy it. It is a fun little car to have. And as you can see, we... Uh, we can grab some doors with it, so it's definitely a good addition to my torque drift cars that I've built and had fun with. I only have a few. I did get rid of a lot of cars to make room for uh, some new cars that I haven't built yet because I have all these cars I don't drive, so I kind of deleted a lot or sold them to uh, make some money room to start building some new builds. As you can see, over two hundred some thousand dollars in here. So we're definitely very comfortable in the hot hatch kind of overshot him and then I hit the wrong way on the on the control pad so like I said if you guys are enjoying the torch of content make sure you guys like this video and tap subscribe if you're not a subscriber I do appreciate all the support new content coming to the channel with a set of Corsa and stuff like that and some new recording aspects so videos are gonna look a little bit crisper a little bit cleaner and we did take the win here in the RS so we're going to go take a look at the build on this car and show you guys what we're working with with that 795 horsepower on the RS. It's all about this hot hatch today. So I think we have two crates we can open up um, for the hot hatch, which we should probably do real quick just to see if we can maybe get some more parts on here that we don't already have. Money and ECU. Okay. We have pretty much have full pro parts, so those aren't going to help me in any means. So... Let's take a look at the build of the RS. We're running all pros, except for the engine. We're running the aftermarket stroked SR20. I haven't upped that yet. Um, the car comes with an SR20 in it, which is kind of confusing to me, but it is what it is. It's got 18 PSI that we're rocking on boost. So, but everything that everybody wants to see is our aspect. We are running 45 to the front. I haven't really adjusted that. Haven't really messed with 
left foot braking too too much which we're going to get more into here soon for our angle kit in the front we're rocking 65 degrees of camber negative seven and a half or steering lock negative seven and a half of camber seven caster negative and a half on the toe and then for the front of the suspension we're rocking some field suspension at 0.09 and 9k so as low as we can go and as pretty much as soft as we can go in the front of that car at nine and then for the rear suspension we are rocking seven and 0.09 a little bit softer in the rear but not crazy soft i did that to get the car as low as possible because why am i keep going back the card is pretty high from the get-go of the game and then for camber and caster in the rear running negative 0.69 and 1 16th and as for our differential, we have the pro diff in there. We're at 80% lock, final drive of 4.68. So the car is really good in fourth gear and all of that. So that is what we're rocking. And when it comes to body kits, we don't really have any. So we don't have any arrow change or anything like that. We just got some neons under it. So that's the RS tune. That's what we're running here for today. So definitely enjoying the hot hatch it's kind of cool wish we could get the new Toyota Corolla IM like for Gosbo so we have a chance to donut we're gonna go to the skyline Hakone skyline here on the torch drift with the focus RS see who our next tandem battle is so I hope you guys are still enjoying torch drift let me know down in the comments what you guys like what you guys want to see very soon because the devs are listening and they are watching and we do still have the we're not finding anybody so we're going to cancel it and go back and then we'll find somebody right away i believe that is not adam lz but it looks like adam lz's car if it was actually adam lz that would be crazy so let's see if we can't get a good run i feel like somebody uh is fanboying adam lz right now rocking the you know the s15 and the gamer tag of that too much into the paint but we did not lose our clean lead okay so i will take that even though that was kind of risky but then we lost it there so not my best run here on hakone but we did have a good run on the jump or on you know the jump section in reverse we definitely got bested, so we're going to try and chase this down and have a better chase, and maybe we'll get another chance to go against him. Rocking no bumper in the back. Trying to find out when he's going to initiate in. Ran it a little bit wider than I should have, but we'll bring it in. There we go. Kind of try and tuck in as much as we can. Kind of washed out. A little bit there I uh, did not expect him to straighten up or flick back so unfortunately we did not get a good chase so hopefully we can get a chance to run him again and redeem ourselves on that one we definitely got bested by that for sure and he left and he said that's a nope rope so we're gonna see if we can't find somebody else here so make sure you, like I said before, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll have you found in the description box below. Some big things coming, and that is a very, very cool looking paint on that uh, 8.6. Some interesting things coming with uh, a set of Corsa on the channel as well as Forza on the PC. But a set of Corsa drift competitions and stuff happening very shortly. And I will be bringing you the full, a video talking about the full specs on the PC build so that you guys can see it and get idea of what specs I am running on my PC Ooh, a little bit sooner somehow saved it but was not able to link all of this so we'll flick this out kind of feather off the gas get our clips a little bit more on the handbrake try to stay away from that wall so we don't lose all of our points and come across with a decent 60,000 point run not the greatest run by any means but it should do the job so this car handles a lot better on some higher speed tracks. Uh, I've noticed here on Hagone, it's good on the like tunnel's edge and hidden path, but Skyline, it's a little bit wonky. So I need to uh, dial in some more suspension and stuff like that and figure out how to get this thing out, how to get this thing really sideways. Maybe we'll try third gear. We'll try th third gear and see if we can stay up there in third so maybe third gear is the money gear right now we may have to uh, double initiate there 
but we were able to somewhat stay on his door. So third gear may be the actual ticket here for Skyline. But we'll see. We did take the win, so that's good. We took the win, and he said no more. So we're going to see what other tracks we can run here for today before we end this episode off. More Turk Drift coming for you guys, as well as other content and new games and stuff like that. So we got Donut, or we can run the Slab. Let's go to the Slab to end this episode off. Haven't run the Slab in a while. Radical 9 in the Focus RS. Got to add a livery to this thing. Maybe a simple street livery, because it kind of looks like a street car. So we are going against NZND with that fun haver, um, you know, title that I did get that myself too. I'm not up there in the high scores, but I was able to get my fun haver one. Definitely a very interesting chase challenge. Going against Chelsea Denofa. Flick that hard in. Oh, get out there, get out there. All right. Well, so this car kind of sits where where you put it. So we got to kind of make sure we try and set it out where we needed to because it doesn't like to come back when you set it in a certain position it kind of hangs there so decent decent run so far here on the slab would like to get closer to those walls but we know what happens when I say that so a hundred eleven thousand to a 99 so a decent close battle here so we're going to have to stick to the door of NZND to finish this episode off to make sure that we are for sure on his door. To make sure we come home with the win in that vet. So like I said, if you guys want to see more Torque Drift, let me know down in the comment section down below. I do appreciate all the support. We are a little bit further off, so we're going to initiate late. Cut this in. And hold that handbrake really long to try and get ourselves back out to where he was not the best approach I needed to do on this tandem run but we're managing to somewhat stay mirrored a little bit in the latter part of the course he's doing some massive angle changes so hopefully that 32,000 chase is going to be enough to take the home of the wind for the final run here of this episode and survey says we did take the win 144 to 129 definitely a fun car and i enjoy this car a lot so make sure you guys follow me on all social media and as always i thank you guys for watching i'm evil rabbit i'll see you guys on the track